Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're out testing the little Sennheiser. These are the little XSW wireless um, transmitters. Now we were just doing one video where we were going to try to piggyback from one, we go make one jump with a transmitter, receiver into the speaker, transmitter to the next, and it did not work because we were having way too much interference. So now we're going to simulate a situation where we're going to go from one speaker to one, so we have our speaker down here. Where is it? Right there. There's our speaker. I also have a second XLR right next to it. We're going to basically simulate two two signals coming off your board, and we're going to send one over to that speaker. It's over there somewhere behind the trees. You can't quite see it there. Okay, so that one's there. Once I took the receiver out of the back of it, so it's just, or excuse me, the transmitter out of the back, so it's just a receiver in there, I haven't had any problem with dropouts. Okay. The way these work is you take the first two of them, you turn them on, and they will be flashing green, green, green. Once they're synced, they will be solid green. That's what you obviously want. Then you start the next pair. But if you don't do it in that, that way, you're going to have them kind of, one might connect to the second one if you just turn them all on too quickly. So we have our first pair. I've got the second pair. It is on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's a little green light there that is connected to my little test wagon over there, my little red wagon. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to plug this in into the XLR. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see it. Nothing fancy, just plugging it in, and I'm going to set it down right next to the speaker here. So it's about ankle level. It's actually on a wood pellet, and that's about the extent of it. Now we're going to come over here, turn this on, move ourselves into the center to see if we're going to have any kind of interference, which I'm telling you we're not going to have that. The big question will be is if we have our signal, and we'll turn the speaker on. So let's turn this a little bit. Now we are struggling with signal on this one. We are kind of out of line of sight as I, I have it just around the corner of the shed. Let's back this up about 10 feet. So we are full within line of sight. We're not sending that signal around the corner of the shed. Okay, now I can see it. Just checking, checking the green little indicator because as soon as it's struggling, it starts to flicker red. You know, we sound like we're good here. Let's turn it up all the way. We again, we've got a uh, limited signal coming in on this one, so let's give us a distance here. About 20 yards away, so roughly 60 feet to that one. Let's do the other side. The other one is coming into the speaker and then going over to there. 30, 30. 30 yards on this one, so roughly about 90 feet to one and 60 feet to the other is what we're getting here today on this. Once I'm line of sight, I wasn't having the audio drops on this particular one. But just the edge of the building, the corner of the building was enough to was enough to keep us from hearing or having the dropouts. Yep, I'm not getting any dropouts. The second one has been running and that one has been has been fine here. Again, at about 90 feet give or take and it's all in line of sight here so just wanted to give you guys an idea so this could work as a stereo application where you're sending sound to this side and this side across the room as long as it's in line of sight ideally if i would put the little devices up higher say if i ran a little three foot jumper and i had it up about four feet you know or even above on top of the speaker so it's getting across the room that would give us a little bit better so you don't have people and cell phones between transmitter and receiver but i think they could definitely work for certain applications not the piggyback not going from that speak that speaker right there i wanted to go to that speaker then to jump from that one to the next speaker to the next speaker to the next speaker i wanted to see how far i could go can't do that. It does not work with having the transmitter and the receivers within a few inches of each other. We'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go check this out. This is John Young with the Disjockey News. Thank you for watching.